And what's up guys, Guy Diamond 11 here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a kalp and XP farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So let's begin. So the materials you'll need is 2 of smokers, 13 redstone dust, 10 hoppers, 12 glass planes, 4 pistons, 4 sticky pistons, 4 redstone torches, 1 redstone repeater, and 2 stacks of water ever solid block, and 4 buckets of water, 18 glass, wood slabs or any type of slab you have, 4 trapdoors, 12 sand, 6 chests, 3 levers, and 2 stacks of whatever fuel source you want. Ok, so we start off by placing your solid blocks in a V shape like this. V shape. Then you take 1 redstone dust, place it on the back end. Take 1 redstone repeater and place it facing the second V end. Then you put a redstone repeater. And then this will create a clock that will keep on going. To stop it, you must place a lever. This will turn on and off the redstone clock. And then you must take your solid blocks and place four solid blocks in the back and in the front. And five just to make a wall. Then you place all four of your pistons. And you come to the back and place the redstone dust. Four and then one here. That will power all the pistons. And then you should see all of them being extended like this. Then you just build a wall around the whole farm, except for the front. Then you take, put sand in front of every piston, and two sand on top of the pistons, like this. This will create the one tick system. And now you must just cover up the bottom of the farm, like this. And there, like that. Now let's see if it works. When you press this lever, you should see the sand moving forward and back like that. Then you know it will work. And the sand on top must not fall through. If it falls through, that means your version is outdated or updated. Now you just put a wall in the back here and add four pistons. Just regular pistons, not sticky pistons. And now you place your solid blocks at the back to power the pistons and build a small wall that will make it look like this. Remember, you can use any block you want. Now, you must connect the hoppers to this chest. But face the hopper and make sure that it's facing this block. Then add these hoppers connecting to that one hopper on the left. Now add the chest in front of the hopper so that it will be stored. Like this. And now you add the glass on the sides. And cover this on top of the pistons with the solid blocks. And finish adding your 3x3 glass wall on the sides. Glass walls are needed, but if you want to, just to see that your farm is working and not broken or not working anymore. Now you add some small glass, I forgot what it's called, on the sides here, so that the kalp won't get stuck on the normal glass. And then your farm should look like this. Now add two hoppers connecting the, to those chests, and add two smokers at the bottom of them. Like this. And now add hoppers on the sides. Well, back. And put a chest on top. That will be the fuel source. And now add a hopper connecting to a chest here to store the cooked cup. Like that. Make sure that the hopper is facing the chest. Now add levers to the sides of these smokers, which will stop and open the smokers. 
now add floor slabs to the top and add four jump doors to be able to enter your farm you don't have to have four but if you want it looks a little bit better to add four now come to the bottom and take your water buckets your four water buckets and add them into the slabs this will make it the kelp to be able to go the next step is to add your kelp to the sand like this and that is how your farm should be looking and see that kelp already started to grow very quickly now add your two fuel sources to the smokers and now you must take your any solid block and make a small stair like this and put your redstone torch at the back of this block and add a redstone dust there that will deactivate the redstone torch add another redstone torch and a block on top of it and another redstone torch if you put it properly then it should be off the top should be off and the bottom should be on that will activate the pistons to harvest the cup and this is how your farm should be looking at all angles okay so just to make sure that the farm's working press the lever and then you should be able to see that the kelp is growing and this farm makes it so that the kelp grows every tick so that you don't have to wait and it's very efficient and as you can see the hoppers are getting filled so quick with items that it's taking quite a while and if you open the chest there should be dried kelp in the chest and if you, and the smokers will be working and that's all you'll need to make this farm and that's how the farm works and i recommend you wait until there's at least 10 stacks or so kelp inside of that chest before trying to work this xp farm okay so i've waited until lots of stacks of dry cup so to use this farm take the dry cup out and turn them all into dried kelp blocks that will make sure that you can reuse the farm so that you can use all the kelp to make the farm carry on going and to light the smelters so they don't have to get coal or wood now just open the smokers and place the dried kelp blocks inside to keep on using um, fueling the smokers and now i'll show you how to get xp so the first thing you have to do is turn off all the levers even the xp farm now take one dried kelp out at a time as you can see i'm slowly but surely getting levels this farm will work better the longer you keep the farm activated. Because the more dried kelps that the smokers produce, the more you XP you'll get. And if you wait long enough, you can maybe even get 10 levels per click. And then that's how you get XP, by just taking out every dried kelp at a time. And that's it for today's tutorial. Sorry that my screen's blurry, I don't know why that's happening. But I hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and SMP videos. Really hope you like it, and hope it helps. Bye.